All right, Abby, the team maintains its undefeated record. Just give me a general thoughts on today's performance. I think we did a really great job coming out, staying disciplined in what um, I talked about previously, um, which is just our blocking. You know, we had to kind of manipulate our scheme halfway through, but it worked. And that is the key, is being able to adjust uh, to the unexpected and just being able to be flexible and get, get the work done. You led the team in blocks, but Kari, Amber, and Claudio were right there behind you just to talk about like work, working with them up there in front of the net. Well, again, I think, you know, just the competition during practice between Claudia and I is just making each other better. And I mean, that's that. We're in practice. We're just grinding and um, getting it done. And, you know, even we, we experience um, just the matches as another practice, too, to get better, to improve. Um, and so I'm just very proud of them for having a wide defense overall. Big blocks. You, um, Amber also ended up playing a role there with the Digs leading the team. Leading the team there, can you just talk about how you approach this team defensively? Yeah, I mean, we were scrappy. We picked up everything, and with Amber um, digging a few balls, a lot of balls, um, we were out of system, but. We're, we play well at a system. We know how to manage. And I think that's something we remind each other constantly is, remember, manage. Manage the ball. Another ball over the net is another opportunity for us to get the point. If we're wailing these balls out of bounds, we're not giving um, ourselves a chance. So I think we just um, did a really great job, again, um, maneuvering where we needed to to keep the ball in play. McKenna talked about how, about sending UIC out of system. You mentioned that you guys played out of system. How would you say that playing out of system it can, could be a good or a bad thing, or how do you approach play, how do you approach playing out of system? Well, we always want to um, aim for being in system, obviously, but uh, when we aren't, we just make sure we're keeping that ball in and uh, staying high hands was the name of the game this time. Um, just continue to hit, swing hard and uh, find those hands, give ourselves another chance. Um, to be in system the next match. Coach Dagenay said yesterday that you guys needed to out-execute the UIC. Would you say that you guys did that today and how so? Absolutely. I think we really uh, flipped it around again that um, second set didn't go our way, but we, we knew why. And so we wanted to make sure we were communicating and saying, you know what, our defense wasn't there. Let's make this change. Let's get these blocks. Um, let's get these digs, over communicate, um, just making sure we were always talking to each other to get the work done. He also mentioned, a, mentioned an underdog mentality. I mean, this is a team that also beat Miami. So would you say that this team took that underdog mentality to heart as you went out there today? Yeah, I mean, I think they did, but I think we came out and, you know, we um, really utilized what we've learned in the past two matches, um, past four matches, and really went out there and took initiative ourselves. And I think that's that's why we see the scores we do. You so you're heading out on your first road trip as a night, and th later th later this week out to Kansas, and you'll be out of the venue for a little while. What are you hoping to get out of this road trip before you return here to start home conference play? I want to see some consistency in our team. Uh, like McKenna noted, you know, it's a different game when you're on the road and. Um, playing against fans that are not going to be cheering for you or a small amount will be. So just seeing, uh, making sure we're coming together on this road trip, getting our little things done, staying disciplined. I think that's going to be the name of the game in addition to serve and pass, of course. Um, but I just want to see us really hone in on this away game and continue uh, improving throughout the season and getting ready for that postseason as well. Thanks, Abby. Thank you.